Welcome. This video series is about listening. I'm using several devices, but currently the main one here is the Moog Grandmother. The purpose of this series of videos is to try to make you listen, not just watch. Hopefully, what you hear will allow you to understand how to recreate some of the sounds. So what I have currently is a square wave and it goes through the filter. This is basically what's called a semi-modular synthesizer. So it's pre-wired and you can then override the pre-wiring using these patch points. And what you're seeing here on the bottom tr trace is the output of the mixer. So it contains both my voice and the output from the Moog synthesizer.
so this is currently using the pre-patched layout of the synthesizer. So the oscillator is going to mix a Um, we can also control the output volume through the filter um, envelope generator as well. So again, the yellow is what you're hearing, and the blue is what's coming out of the mixer. So one of the uh, things you can start patching with is you can use things like the sample and hold. This is a uh, basically a, a noise source. So you can see the top waveform is sort of jumping up and down. It's sort of uh, jumping in and down because I haven't got the keyboard playing, so you can't hear it. So that's what the uh, forward hold is. Changes every time the LFO oscillator cycle is a different value, which is a random number, basically. So based on the frequency of the LFO, this amplitude is random. This is different from just pure noise. where the noise has random frequency and random amplitude. Sample and hold has random amplitude but a fixed pitch. Listening to the sample and hold output is a bit boring, so normally it's used to control one of the other parameters. So let's just put it through this attenuator first to give it some control, level control. I'm going to put my patch leads oh, they're over here. So what we'll do is we can patch it to the frequency of the um, one of the oscillators and listen to that.
also use it to control the cutoff frequency of the filter. Eventually, if I work out what I did wrong here. Sample and hold. Um, use the attenuator to control how much randomness is applied to the the uh, control you're using. <laughs> now, an alternative way of getting a uh, random data. Um, which is quantized to note values is to use the sequencer and use the sequencer and then play it back in using the random setting. So what I can do is set the sequencer record and play a sequence of uh, say semitones and now I can play that back using random Wow, 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 wow,